Come on, baby. Uncle Ted's baptismal spirit wild fest. I got the try, try, try. Peter, Paul, and Mary. I rock. I'll be the guitar player, and you just yeah. dance naked. The stealth and silence of hunting revs my batteries up to absolute tsunami overload in time to, you know, take people's heads clean off with my guitar. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs>
for eight to ten hours. I said to him, I said, doesn't this get boring? And he said, no, it, there's always something going on. And when I was in the stand, I remember being aware of things that I never would have seen if I weren't in a, in a hyper alert situation. I always thought any moment some game is going to show up. We had a buck come in on us and it went right underneath their tree. Tom Ackerman was in his tree stand, he had his bow and he had a shot on a buck and I just could not control my throat and I just started coughing. <coughs> She had a cough that she just couldn't hold back anymore, and she coughed, and you know, and he spooked and took off. I, you know, I could see she got excited as part of that whole deal. That was really neat. Greta's got this idea. She's got this this cookbook, Ted's cookbook, and there's a recipe in there for squirrel casserole. And of course, the main ingredient is squirrels. Greta wants to go out there and harvest some squirrels for the casserole. For this squirrel casserole, all we need are two limb rats, a 10 ounce package of frozen broccoli with cheese, yeah. butter, margarine, chopped onion, cream, mushroom soup, rice, salt, and pepper. And we'll have ourselves a squirrel casserole. Bow hunting for a tasty fox squirrel is no easy task, but it's a great way to fine tune your hunting skills. But if you really want to witness the mystical flight of an arrow, squirrel hunt, it's so cool. Back at Ted Quarters, the group gathers around for one of Ted's little protein recipes. That is delicious, unbelievable. Lunch with Ted is never short of a remarkable experience, served up with a taste for the wild. I just recommend you just shut up and go hunting that I say for you, or learn from me and get more excitable, get more passionate, so people believe that you actually believe in what you're saying. Instead of talking so gentle, <laughs> you punk. With their bellies full of some tasty vittles, it's time to jam. It's like a front row seat at a, at a Ted Nugent concert. Is that cool? <laughs> Next on the New American Sportsman. Scared to leave all those amenities behind for your outdoor adventure? Don't be. I'm going to show you some goodies that are going to make your experience much more romantic. So if you're looking for ways to entice that special someone into the outdoors with you, here are a couple products that might help. This is a Speedster made by Traveler Guitar. That's right, it's a little pack electric guitar. And listen, it's got pretty good tone. <laughs> Love that. If you don't play music, don't let it discourage you because you can listen to music. This iPod has battery powered speakers. Really cool. Let's see if we can find a little Greta Gaines. Hey, I'm in here. Check it out. Oh, yeah, it's happening. The mood has been set. <laughs> 